Good evening, my fellow travelers. I'm uh, going to be wrapping up shortly to have supper. But you can see the missing hill. I went to Manhattan Outpost uh, because there were a bunch of sentinels in Manhattan. I decided to land in there. And, well, the building, some of the ground had been suppressed when I put the flooring in. Didn't realize it. And walk in, and the teleporter ring is half buried in, well, not half, not even a quarter. But there's grass. One third, one quarter of the floor of the building. And of course, I started having problems when I started trying to just jack everything up. Because I take one step off out of the building and taking the walls out, they were preventing, they were no longer preventing me taking a step out. I'd fall. Game crashed multiple times. Now, anyway, the solution to the problem was to, at least, a problem of grass. Now, this is very carefully measured. Yes, there will be grass on the steps. I can live with that. This guy is on the platform. The platform, the edge of it is flush with the grass. There'll be no grass there, because that's above. Married, stone floor with it, and well, off we go, so to speak. So this is the reception area. As close as I can to making a closet. Sort of central section. Toilet. Bedroom. Minimalistic chic. Uh, Hollow thing that's not rendering properly. Hey, I would expect anything to render properly in this game. Oops, that came out. Uh, bathroom, I borrowed this from, oh God, one of the fellows I watch on YouTube once in a while. I think it's AGT9, something like that. He loves to do the entire bathroom out of that particular trough. There's an explanation for that, but basically that's the towel. Um, music, decorations, entertainment section. Yes, it's a flat screen, smaller flat screen, but what the heck. What a great view of well, warehouse row. And kitchen. And yes, I have a counter. A um, bunch of stools. And... Yes, I, I want to do a counter between the oven slash stovetop and the fridge. There it is. It's an hexagonal table. The table, of course, had to be made bigger to fit to be the right height. And it's stuck out. So, ooh, the sun's coming up. Because, you know, sorry, but the lighting is very much on the romantic side as opposed to Gee, it makes sense. All right, let's put that guy up. At least give some illumination to the kitchen. So yeah, that's uh, the new abode part of Manhattan Outpost 1. I've been meaning to do something here for a while. The terrain, unfortunately, is very, very uneven. It's not just sloping, it's sloping in different directions. And also try to avoid landscaping of any kind. So all the various rocks that are there are there. They've been taken into consideration. And can I actually reach the base computer? So yeah, as you can see, um, it's a radical departure. It used to be at least one... Um, large floor panel out. Not anymore. And I have actually mined the cobalt in the cave. So yeah, uh, that's what I've been doing for the last hour. Instead of going through my various saves and going to deal with citizen disputes and, oh, we want this dude out or we want that dude out. God, this ever-reaching 
S settlement, the long-winded affair. And worse is, of course, once you reach S, it doesn't stop. You can't appoint someone overseer to take care of things for you. Or, you know, aid, overseer, however you want to call it, assistant. Nope. Apparently, holding the hands of colonists and wiping their nose and patting their behinds and making sure that their stuff is in their closet as opposed to somebody else's closet is an unending affair. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the better terrain rendition I've had this evening. Yeah, the, I, I just like the roof so much, I didn't want to give it up. It's just a question of time before this game becomes unplayable. And with those somewhat bitter words, I wish you a very pleasant evening, my fellow travelers. Mm -hmm.